No, I literally can't imagine myself with like normal hands. I tried to, I was dreaming like last night and I was like sorta awake kind of, like a lucid dream. And I just, I, it didn't work. I, I couldn't do it. I couldn't imagine myself with like, you know, normal fingers and hands and shit. I, it just didn't work. I'm tired of it all. I'm tired of the dumb man-child media. I'm tired of the nerdy Battle Pass Forever games. I just want to go outside and not give a fuck. I was watching a video about NPCs and um, it was like how we are all NPCs because we all just follow the rules. Anyway, this girl, she asked me for my name, my telephone number and my email. And I asked why and she says, well, our computer is asking. And I had to explain to her that I'm paying with cash. And she's like, well, the computer, the computer wants to know. And I, I just told her, I was like, look. And it turns out, turns out she didn't need that information. This girl was just gonna do whatever the computer told her to do. Every other person in that line did give her that information. Didn't even ask why they needed it. I guess most people just do what they're told. My last video was about the underground rap scene and why I kind of just don't fuck with it no more. You don't gotta go back and watch that video. I'll summarize it here real quick, 10 seconds. The underground plug and B rap scene is all about vibes and I don't fuck with those vibes no more. <laughs> the new vibes I'm fucking with now is called the indie skits. The Strokes, Arctic Monkeys, the Yeah, 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 S. These bands aren't just great bands, but they spearheaded an entire movement of music that trickled down to culture in the late 90s and early 2000s. The indie sleaze scene, or garage rock, or the post-punk revival, it was also the called. The indie sleaze scene is a subgenre of alternative rock music that emerged in the late 1990s and early 2000s. It can be characterized by its raw, gritty sound and often explicit lyrics. Similar to the underground rap scene today, the music was more about vibes than actual lyrics or substance. Songs were, you can hear this one second, and then that the next second. Of course, there are good music and great songs, but it's... The scene is known for its DIY ethos and underground appeal, with many bands self-producing and self-promoting their music. Very similar to the man, nah, we not we not gonna keep doing that. These niggas were barely on. These niggas were barely on. Like back then, them niggas were barely on the charts compared to you know whoever was mainstream at the time back then. It's just kind of cool knowing something that like only a small niche of people know. So it felt cool to be a part of a small, unique community. You see people hate it when their little niche, their little thing just blows up into the mainstream and now they got all types of people saying their shit and it's just weird. Watch here, my bust down Roly Avalanche. So I think that's one reason why this indie sleaze scene just grabs me so much. The other reason why I love the indie scene besides the music is just like the fashion. So little preference before I get into this, um, my history of fashion is one day freshman year, I saw a kid with some Zeba 350s and a I feel like Pablo shirt. And I was like, man, that's just so cool. So I started following all the trends, but since I didn't have any money, I had to shop at the thrift store and I still do, it's fire, you know what I'm saying? But <laughs> I had these high top forces that was like, it had a strap and like speckled white dots on it. I didn't have the agency for exploring fashion until very recently, but now all the trends these days are just kind of boring to me. Not even fashion, but I feel like so many things in culture and media these days has lost its creativity. All the top movies are sequels, prequels, remasters, remakes. All the top games are sequels, prequels, remasters, remakes. That's why I'm playing old games. And going back to the last video, 
seems like all the shit in the underground and plug-in beat scene sounds the fucking same, so I gotta go back to old music, and yes, of course, I still like some new movies, I still like some new games, I still like some new music, but the overall vibe of everything new these days are just not the vibes I want to be on right now and I kind of just want to get rid of all of it and kind of just move into the scene where all they care about is not caring. I'm selling my Yeezy 2020 election hoodie. I'm selling my Cardi merch. I just sold some Supreme shirt. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Not, not the golf. <laughs> not the I'm 21. I'm a grown ass man and it's time that I start making decisions for myself and turning into a person that I wasn't in fucking high school. By the time this video drops, I should have my ID and I want to act like an adult. I want to go outside. I want to go to clubs. I, I want to be young and messy and free in this clean ass old and tired and miserable world but I'm not there yet. I'm taking little steps, like selling all this stupid shit that I don't wear, like not indulging in whatever's new and trendy just because. That's what NPCs do. And just doing whatever everyone tells you to do. I guess most people just do I go like, You're either completely silenced, NPC can't say anything, bitch made, Conforming to the system, they trapped you, Matrix, or completely out there, no holds barred. I can say whatever I want. N Both of those sides are just NPC ass sides, bro. This, you're just listening to whatever the clean niggas tell you to, and this, you're just listening to whatever the dirty niggas tell you to, bro. Make your own fucking mind up, bro. And that's what I'm trying to do. That's why I'm switching up to a whole new perspective, but I'm not there yet. So I'm taking these steps. Okay, now the last step is I gotta find six friends, or any friends. dead ass bro like i'm playing diablo right now all these fucking guilds say i can't join they shit because i'm not a veteran diablo play bro like if you new to diablo like me and you're on world tier two please let's play bro come on